Have you ever wondered how the extensive DNA strands fit into the tiny nucleus of a cell? This fascinating question is what prompted the creation of the nucleosome model. This scientific model proposed by Roger Kornberg back in 1974 provides a comprehensive explanation of how DNA and associated proteins are organized within a chromosome. A year later, P. Uday and his team confirmed and christened this model, which has since become the most widely accepted explanation of chromatin organization. The nucleosome model tackles the complex task of elucidating the precise mechanism of DNA folding within the nucleus. Imagine the magnitude of this task. If stretched out, the DNA double helix in each human chromosome would span the cell nucleus thousands of times. Yet, nature has found a way to neatly pack this into a nucleus just a few micrometers in diameter. The nucleosome model is the most accepted model that explains this intriguing phenomenon. So, what exactly makes up this nucleosome model? Let's dive right into the details. At the heart of it all are histones. These are proteins that DNA in eukaryotes, like us humans, intertwines with. It forms a tight bond, so tight that the mass of histones matches the mass of DNA. This union does not result in chaos, but in a meticulously organized structure. They form repeating DNA protein particles, which we call nucleosomes. Imagine a bead necklace, where each bead is a nucleosome and the string is the DNA. This visual analogy gives us a sense of the structure and order in the seemingly chaotic world of our genetic material. Each of these nucleosomes, or beads, is a disc-shaped particle. It's about 11 nanometers in diameter and 5.7 nanometers in height a minuscule yet vital component of life. Now, let's talk about the makeup of these nucleosomes. Each one contains two copies of four types of histone proteins, H2A, H2B, H3, and H4. These eight histones form a protein core. Around this core, the double-stranded DNA helix is wound one and three quarters of a time, containing 146 base pairs. This winding and looping of DNA is what allows such a vast amount of genetic information to fit within the tiny confines of a cell nucleus. So there you have it, the essence of the nucleosome model. DNA tightly bound to high stones, forming an array of repeating particles, each a marvel of biological engineering. This structure allows the DNA double helix, which would span the cell nucleus thousands of times if stretched out, to be packed in an orderly way into a nucleus only a few micrometers in diameter. Fundamentally, the nucleosome model presents chromatin as beads on a string. This model helps us understand the incredible complexity and elegance of life on the most fundamental level. And it's all happening right there inside the nucleus of each and every cell in your body. What happens between these beads or nucleosomes on the DNA string? This question takes us to the heart of our discussion. The role of linker DNA and H1 histones. Linker DNA and H1 histones, they're like the unsung heroes of the chromatin organization. They may not be the stars of the show, but without them, there would be no show at all. Let's start with the linker DNA. This is the DNA that extends as a continuous thread from one nucleosome to the next. Picture a beautiful pearl necklace. The pearls are the nucleosomes and the string connecting them. That's your linker DNA. But how long is this string? On average, the linker DNA is about 54 base pairs long. It may not sound like much, but remember, we're talking about a molecule that's so small, it's measured in nanometers. Every single base pair counts. Now, let's move on to the H1 histone. The H1 histone is a protein molecule that associates with each linker DNA. Imagine it as a little seal locking the DNA turns around the histone octomers. In other words, the H1 histone is like the glue that holds the DNA and the histone octamer together, ensuring a stable and compact nucleosome structure. But the role of the H1 histone doesn't stop there. It also plays a crucial part in maintaining the spacing between nucleosomes. Without the H1 histone, the nucleosomes might just collapse into each other and we'd lose that classic beads on a string structure. So while the H1 histone and linker DNA might not get the limelight, their role is vital. They ensure the DNA extends properly from nucleosome to nucleosome, maintain the structure of each nucleosome and keep the nucleosomes nicely spaced out. The H1 histone and linker DNA play a crucial role in maintaining the spacing between nucleosomes. So next time you think about the structure of chromosomes, remember these unsung heroes. Because without them, we wouldn't have the beautifully organized chromatine structure that we do today.
Why is understanding the nucleosome model so important? You might ask. The answer lies in the insights this model provides into the intricate organization of genes and the meticulous packaging of DNA within the nucleus. The nucleosome model offers a comprehensive explanation of how the enormous length of DNA which, if stretched out, would span the cell nucleus thousands of times, is meticulously packed into a tiny nucleus. At first glance it may seem impossible, akin to fitting a whale into a fishbowl. But nature, in its infinite wisdom, has devised an elegant solution through the nucleosome structure. Histones, the proteins that DNA tightly binds to, play a pivotal role in this process. They form repeating DNA protein particles known as nucleosomes, which are the fundamental packing units of the chromatin. This gives chromatin a unique beads-on-a-string appearance, where each bead represents a nucleosome. A closer look at the structure reveals that each nucleosome is a disc-shaped particle wrapped by a double-stranded DNA helix, containing a precise number of base pairs. The DNA extends as a continuous thread from one nucleosome to the next. This intricate arrangement allows the DNA to be tightly coiled while maintaining the ability to be easily accessed when needed. The nucleosome model also sheds light on the average repeat intervals of nucleosomes and the number of nucleosomes associated with a eukaryotic gene. On average, nucleosomes repeat at intervals of about 200 base pairs. For instance, a eukaryotic gene of 10,000 base pairs will be associated with roughly 50 nucleosomes. This efficient arrangement vastly reduces the space requirements for DNA storage within the cell nucleus. This understanding of how DNA is packed into the nucleus is crucial in many fields, from genetics to medical research. It helps us comprehend how genes function, how DNA replicates, and how mutations can cause diseases. The nucleosome model is key to understanding the efficient and compact organization of DNA in the cell nucleus. It's like having a map that guides us through the labyrinthine world of our genetic material. In conclusion, the nucleosome model gives an extensive explanation of the complex DNA protein structures within our chromosomes. It lays bare the tightly knit relationship between DNA and histones, forming repeating nucleosomes. These nucleosomes, akin to beads on a string, serve as the fundamental packing unit particles of chromatin. The role of the linker DNA and H1 histone in this model further underscores the intricate organization of these components. The nucleosome model indeed provides a comprehensive understanding of the intricate organization of DNA and proteins in the chromosome.